This 3 liter Duramax comes with a rear engine gear train, not a front gear train like most traditional American engines. And whether or not you guys should be worried about that, because there are certain engine repairs that can be a complete pain with a rear gear train. And well, it all starts in beautiful Europe. Before we get too ahead of ourselves, what exactly is a rear gear train? Well, with this specific engine, it means that our timing chains, our high pressure fuel pump, our oil pump, they are all gonna be run off the back of the engine. This three liter Duramax engine began its development before 2017, but not here in North America. Rather, GM opted for their German auto partners, Opel, to begin developing and engineering this three liter Duramax. GM and Opel have had a long history. GM actually bought Opel in 1929, owning them until 2017, selling them to Stellantis of all people. In total, GM and Opel worked together for 88 years. Opel, being a European-based car manufacturer, had extensive knowledge when it came to building small and mid-sized diesel engines for the European market. And GM wanted to leverage that knowledge and experience to build them a smooth, efficient, emission-compliant inline six diesel engine for the North American market. This was until 2017 because, as I mentioned, GM sold Opel to Stellantis. However, GM did retain the rights to this future three liter Duramax engine, but from my understanding, it was pretty much complete. And the final stages of development did take place in-house here in North America until the eventual release of this three liter Duramax in 2019. So when I mentioned in the past that this engine is more or less a European based and design engine, that's what I mean. And because of that, we have a rear gear train. Now, why do European engines have rear gear trains? Well, they do things a little bit differently over there. And to help you guys understand, I figured we'd take a little field trip. Then here we are in beautiful Europe, in the heart of Paris, Notre Dame right there. Fellas, every truck in Europe, big old cab over here. Very interesting. And that's why a lot of European engines like three liter Duramax have their gear train at the back of the engine because this baby pops right up and you get full access to the back of the engine. You guys can see I wasn't joking. Literally every single truck on the road is a cab over, meaning the whole cab lifts forward and reveals the whole backside of the engine. Something like this right here, just a little cab over. Obviously this thing will pop up. And again, if you had something like a three liter Duramax with a rear gear train, it would make servicing and repairing the engine very easily, which is why we see it. And that's the main reason why we have a three liter Duramax with a rear gear train because of its European origin. I mean, look, we can literally see the back of the engine, the back of the transmission,